All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. As you guys are joining, please uh, let me know where you're connecting from and do me one favor. And the favor I want you to do me is please go ahead and share this broadcast. Share it on your wall. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it on every group. All right, I'm just trying to test the audio. I'm trying to test the audio right now. All right, the audio is good. Uh, for you guys who are connecting on Facebook, thank you very much for those connecting uh, on YouTube. Thank you. Princess at DBC at Demola, how are you doing today? God bless you. I'm really sorry there's no light, no too much of light in this place. All right, so it's possible for you not to be able to see my face clearly, but it's still good. All right, Princess, how are you doing now? How is everything? Guys, go ahead and share this video quickly. Share this video quickly. I just want to uh, actually share a secret with you guys quickly. Uh, Jayola, good evening. How are you? On mobile only. On live day. TNT. Wow. All right. From Lagos. God bless you. All right. So thank you guys. Coming in, please share this video. Share this video. Tell me where you're connecting from. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate you guys big time. I have a very important guest in the house this morning who is going to open our eyes. Olubu Sola, how are you? Emitokpe, how are you doing? Stephanie, Friday. Wow, that's a good name. Sheyi Babalola, Joshua Femi Gorodi. What's up, my brother? How are you guys doing? Now you are in Texas, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you see great men moving to Texas, you're supposed to know that something is about to explode. I'm telling you, you know, Pastor Shola sneaked in some years ago. Now, Femi Goro, they just sneaked in too. Oh, Lord, I'm with GFK. When you're talking about Mr. GFK, Joshua Femi Goro, keeping it real, keeping it gospel. I'm telling you. <laughs> you guys are about to, you guys are about to feel some heat, man. You guys are about to feel some stuff. And you know what funny thing is that that's my right hand man. If Femi Gorod is on the same show with Pastor Shala, you know the internet is going to explode. I'm not kidding. For real. And, and Femi Gorod is now joining us right now in Houston, Texas. It's going to be great, fantastic. I'm telling you. Adeyemi John, how are you? Jimmy Tokbe, God bless you. Elizabeth, God bless you. Thank you very much, Ngozi. God bless you. Uh, Chukuma, TV, God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Rama, God bless you. So welcome, guys. Please, as you come in, please help me to share this video. Do something for me right now. Share this video big time, all right? Because something is about to happen. To me, talk where, Victor, how are you? Omo Bolanle, Adeyinka, how are you doing? All right, so, so what I'm about to throw out there is this, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of us are struggling. A lot of people are struggling. Your business is not moving fine. I, I actually I stumbled on one particular lady recently. She is into into snail snail business. <laughs> when I say snail business, somebody will be smiling or laughing right now. Say, "What's the last so you can snail business?" Law law. What's what snail business? How, how much money can you make? You know when you when you're talking about snail business, how much money can you make? All right, guys. I want to let you know one thing. This small 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 thing. All right, a lot of these, these small, small things that you see that don't make any sense at all, they're making a lot of money. You won't believe it. So she she, she contacted me. Actually, about four of them contacted me that are into snail business. And then they, they, they convinced me to invest. So I invested. <laughs> I invested 250000 naira. I'm telling you, when this lady show, she showed me the farm and she started with few, and right now it's got a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now we are actually planning out to start bringing snail to the US, taking snail to London, and all kinds of stuff. And I told this lady, I said, you know, what, funny thing, we're gonna put this on the globe. And she was like, so how are we gonna do it, Pastor Shola? I said, a lot of people don't understand the power of social media. Many people don't understand the power of websites. Many people don't understand the power of social media. Social media will bring you out. Social media will bring you out. You will never believe it. I'm into head we are making. See, thank you. You know what I'm saying? 
He said, all of these kind of small, small businesses, they make a lot of sense. Now, a lot of you guys, you are in the United States, and you got like five thousand, six thousand dollars sitting in one stupid bank account in, in, in your in your in your American bank. And instead of you withdrawing it and investing the money back home, or even here, but I'm telling you, back home right now is making some sense. It's making sense right now. If you don't know, if you if you never know, I just did tell you now. Back home is making sense now. Back home money is making sense. I'm not saying you move back to Nigeria. I'm not saying go back to Nigeria, whatsoever it would be. But I'm telling you, back home investment right now is making sense. When it comes to food, all right? When it comes to food, it's making sense. You won't believe it, all right? So a lot of you guys are not even looking into how to bring your business on the globe, how to showcase what to do, all right? Like myself, I come out, I talk about marriage all the time, and people do call me, sign up for counseling session and all that, you know? You do call me sign up for counseling and all kinds of stuff and everything. Or a lot of you guys do a lot of stuff and you're wondering, how do I put myself on the globe? How do I make money? Who you be crying? And then you'll be going to night busy. Father, 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 heavy enemy, disturbing my business for moving. Die in the name of Jesus. You're fooling yourself. There is no enemy that is stopping your business from moving. The, the enemy has got his own business to promote. It is because you lack understanding that the people who will buy from you, it's possible for them not to be in your locality. They might not be where you are. <laughs> I invested with Ola Banji Farm in Nigeria. Just imagine, I did Ola, see what I'm saying? I tell you, you'll be, you'll be shouting and praying, praying nonsense prayer. Nothing is disturbing you. You are the one disturbing yourself. We don't even know you. We don't even know you are doing any business. We don't know you are actually selling headwear. We don't even know you are selling shoes. We don't even know you are selling nothing. We don't know you. You are advertising your business though. And mommy, if we can, wait, my people on Tasha, on Tasha. Mommy, to come say, my people on Tai, yo. And then you go to church and you'll be bothering everybody that are here, there to serve God. You say, Do you have mama? I have a car, the book on my boot. Oh, I have shoes. Oh. How many people are going to buy shoes from you in your local church? Pata pata in America. At the end of the day, those four people will come back and share bad testimony about you because the familiarity will actually bring, it was going to bring disrespect. It will bring disrespect. I'm telling you. In this familiarity and then people don't want you to be rich in your church you don't know i'm just telling you now point blank the people you see in your church you are selling shoes to these people you sell it you will not you will not believe it three weeks time another woman will just come with you you just say and then there will be problem in church then the competition will come and then this person is bringing shoes that person is bringing clothes at the end of the day nobody's buying from you then they start buying from this one then they now make a carcass but like me, I have come to understand one thing. And one thing that I come to understand is that I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do business. I don't want to do business with just Nigerians. I, I want, I want my business, I want my business to be global. I want people to see me all over the world. I want people to, to know what I do. All right. I want other people to patronize me. You see, the moment I started getting black Americans and Caribbeans signing up for counseling sessions. At that moment, I knew it. I said, Pastor Shola, thank God for you. Because to buy joke with Omo Nigeri, come on, see, see, Omo Nigeri, come on, buy, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. So I decided I need to upgrade. I need to put myself on the globe. Let people see me. I made website. I have uh, TikTok. I have YouTube. I have Facebook. I have everything. Even TikTok was a little difficult for me. You know, in the first place, but now it's easy. So everybody who is a business person must know and understand how to use the website, the social media, and every other thing. And that's why I actually decided to go and bring somebody who will teach you how to do these things. But the issue is if you live in diaspora to coordinate any small business back home. It's easy. You don't have to coordinate nothing because I'm only sharing something with you. Pazela is sharing true life experience. I'm telling you, Timmy, talk about Talk to me directly, Uncle Shola. Don't go to the corner. I'm, I'm firing you now. I'm firing you. I'm, 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 I'm talking to you. All right? So if you don't know, you don't know. And I just want to prove it to you today. All right? That you'll be missing. The moment you have a content, the moment you have a product, 
The moment you have a service to render, you can make money anywhere. The moment you have a content, the moment you have a service that you can provide, the moment you have a material or a product you can sell, you can make money anywhere in the world. I just want to let you know that. There is one particular lady on social media. Her name is Ojuloge. Ojuloge is making money selling gilly, selling head, headwear, makeup. A lot of our, 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 our clients are actually not based in Lagos. They are based outside of Lagos. Because she, she actually, she's using the power of the social media and her website to be able to advertise herself. So many of you guys are listening to me right now. I want to unveil something new. Something you've not been able to think about for so long. So many people don't understand this, but I'm just giving it to you right now. Invite some celebrity to come and wiggle with you and do what kinds of you will blow. You will blow son son. You know, the you guys want to blow. Say, how you like to blow? Oh, I blow. To bati a blow. Man, fi bongo zinu zinu sokoto e wa blow son. Oh yeah, I want to blow. So I want to make making news. <laughs> so guys, without wasting time, I'm going to be bringing my guests right now. I'm bringing my guests right now uh, to you guys. I'm all over here, sir. Oh, good job. I'm going to be bringing my guests. I've invited him to come to join us. Uh, so he could explain to us um, uh, what to do to be able to make ends to meet when it comes to business. How to? Can you unmute your line? Thank you. Yeah, I've just unmuted myself. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you, sir, uh, Dr. Shala, for bringing me here. I'm here to impart uh, every one of us that are here on, online. So I don't know, a lot of people are struggling. They are looking for how to make ends meet. Some only ask, just they do nine to five job every day. They don't even have residual income. Like what uh, Dr. Dr. Shola just said, he said that if you can do anything, what kind of services can you provide? You know, you have to know what you are good at. You know, even though you don't, you don't, you are not good at anything, learn something and you should be able to provide these services to, 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 the, to people around you. You can be anywhere. You can make money anywhere. So you now made mention of the power of social medias, the powers of having a website to reach the people out there because a lot of people are, everything happens online. So when you have a business, you have to be able to bring it online. So the, the good things about having a business and bringing it online is when you have a business and you have a website, people will try, will start to trust your business. They want to patronize you. You know, when you have a business for your website, it will be like a top notch. Like, wow, the guy has a website. It's really genuine because your website is actually uh, an online office where people can reach out to you why you are sleeping or why you are not there you know they can reach out to you they can play around you know you can have an e-commerce website it could be i mean a church uh website it could be a charity organization you know you don't have to you have to start from where you have you know maybe you have you know you have 10 product put the 10 product there look at amazon they started in the basement Look at Facebook. They started in the basement. Look at all these big, big companies. They all started in the basement. Because some of us are waiting to have it big before we start coming online, before we start having it. No, you don't have to. You don't, it doesn't have to be big. You know, you have to start from, you know, from what you have. So what is the benefit of having a website? One of the benefits of having a website is you generate more sales for your business. You generate more sales. Another thing, your business could be informational. You are giving information to people, to the audience that come to check your uh, website. What is the essence of having a, a business website is that you'll be able to put your product there, you know, before back uh, those business, you know, you have your shop where you have your, your you dis where you display your business, you put it on, on counter and on everywhere. But when you have a website, you'll be able to put your product on your website. So when people come, when they go through your website, they will be able to see that uh, this is what they want. This is what they are looking for because you are communicating to them. When your business, your, your business website is telling people the kind of services you are rendering. And by so doing that, you know, you are 
putting it in their mind that wow, this is what I'm looking for, and this is what I want. And if you have, if it's, if it's an e-commerce website where you have put your payment integration, they can also go online while you are sleeping, and they will just buy it and pay, make payment. So another thing is that when you have a business website, you are giving yourself a, an online reputation because some people, when you talk to them about business, they want to go to Google and search about your business. They want to go to Google that, oh, I want to see this guy, is he doing what? Let, let, me, stop, let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there for a minute. Now, where you, where, what you're saying right now is very, very important. I'm actually trying to buy a new house right now. And uh, they, they ask me of where I've worked before, you know, work history and all that. So I give them one particular company. And that company is actually a, a one kind of uh, living room company. You know, living room company that we only have one laptop here and you have almost about 70 employees. You know, say, and the guy will just wake up on his bed and just come to this place and coordinate and stuff. So the guy doesn't have a website. It's not, you can't even locate his address, but he's making money. So I actually gave them that stuff and uh, they search and search. And then the real talk, I mean, the loan officer called me and said, We couldn't locate this guy on the globe. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, you cannot. I'm sorry, you can't locate that guy anywhere. He's not anywhere. He's, he's an old school guy. He's making crazy money. We're over 70 of us working for him and all kinds of stuff. So I gave them his direct phone number. And the guy, you know, he picked up the call and he said, Yeah, he used to work with me. Then they said, We need you to fill the form. He filled it and he sent it back to them. And he stopped like this. So I called him up. The same day I said, Sir, I said, Don't you think you need to actually be on social media now? Probably have a website. It was like, Shola, I say yes. Why do I need it? I said, you need it because, see, somebody's looking for you right now. People want to give you business. You know, don't just rely on the present ones you have. Be able to get more business from outside and then multiply your employee to probably 150, 200 employees. And so he was like, yeah, that's good, but I need somebody to coordinate it for me. And stuff. I said, all right, that's fine. You can give me that job and do it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, sir. So, yeah, so you can see now, when you have a business uh, online presence, you boost. You are boosting your business online because a lot of people want to call you. A lot of people want to reach out to you, right? You know, mm -hmm. some of us, you know, they, we, like I've said earlier, on, we do only nine to five. Beloved, you can create a residual income by delivering services to people, and also you have to put it on the website. You have to buy a hosting. You know, I do, I do have a website. What are the things that you need to have a website? You buy a hosting. Hosting is just what is going to host all your data on the server. It will host all your data on the server. You need to buy a domain registration. A domain registration simply means your website address. See, that's just it, your website address. Also, you need to have an SSS certificate that is a secure layer, secure socket layer, where we are telling people that when they come to your website, it is a good place where they are not going, they are, you are not stealing their data. You are not trying to send them a malware that is it so and also put your product there give your product a short description you know don't write too many story give it a short description so people will understand what you are your the kind of services you are rendering okay so i want to tell you anyone that is listening to me today having a website boost your business give it good online reputations and also brings customer for you where you are sleeping you only need to send them the link and from there that gives them idea of the kind of services you are rendering okay so when you when you have a business right now and you are not you are not you don't have a, uh, a website you are you are you are you are, you are just stopping yourself from making more money maybe you are making 500 dollars for the business you are having but when you have a website you make more money you can be able to market it. You know, having a business uh, website is another thing. You have to also market it where people can go and see the website so that they could be able to see the product you are rendering. And by so doing that, they will reach out to you. Some of us, we are we don't have good online process. I want to tell you, each anyone that is listening to me now, Facebook or Amazon is not better than us. It's because we are not doing anything. That if, if we'll be able to do our own website and put it with our business can be like Amazon one day. We don't Mr. have to rely on that. Mr. Francis, I, I just want to, you know, I just want to, you know, be able to coordinate things because a lot of stuff going in the mind of people, even, even myself. Uh, now, if I have uh, an account on 
social media like Facebook, YouTube, and all that. Uh, we believe those ones are actually presently, they are actually advertised. People are already on there, already. If I now create a website, it's going to be a little difficult for me to get people to know my website. I have to be able to, you know, I still have to use social media to advertise my website. And you know, people are so very, people are very lazy these days. They just want to stay in one place. How easy will it be if we decide we want to go into, you know, creating a website? How could we advertise our website for people to be able to come to us? Yeah, there are many ways you can advertise your website. You know, you can go on Google, you put your website there, you can come, you can also contact uh, Dr. Shola, also you can contact me as well on my number, which is 306-880-5043. So you can, you know, you have, we have what we call search engine optimization. It is yeah. Google, uh, search engine optimization simply means we use Google algorithms to program your website on Google. So for instance, Maybe you are a, you are rendering plumbing services in social range area, and somebody somebody doesn't even need to type your website address to Google. What they do is that I'm looking for plumbing. When they type in plumber or plumbing, your website comes up, and the first thing they are going to click will lead them to your website. That is what I mean by search engine optimization. Google owns everything; they program everything there. And when you, when you have it on Google, you can also promote it. People will call you. You know, so and also you can do it on over social media. You can go to you know an online shows where you put your website address and you are talking about your services. People are listening to you. You see, a lot of people right. they don't want to what, what he's saying is this. You know me, I love to break things down. This man is not saying go to night VG. Night VG. Night VG is not going to help you. What he's saying right now is that you need to, first of all, build a website. If you're a small business, you're a large business, you're a dealership, you're selling pama, you're selling snail, you're selling clothes, you're selling headwear, you're rendering services, you're a plumber, you're a carpenter, doesn't matter who you are. When you create a website, your website will now be locked into Google. And every time you actually go to Google and you go and search for a doctor, you will see that there will be a doctor that will be number one. That number one link is going to be the one you will click. There is a way that your own business can now be the number one on the list. They're going to give it to you. They're going to help you to do that. That the moment they search for a counselor, your link will be the first that Google will bring out. And it will be easy for people to click it. And you know one funny thing? Google will be telling you how many people visited your link every day they tell you how many people visited your link every day and all kinds of stuff. so it's going to be easy for you to make new customers exactly. by doing that now if you are the kind of person that believe one power and principality is eating your business you're fooling yourself oh you're fooling yourself and you are not helping your situation at all the best thing for you to do is to create that website and promote that website and do what is supposed to be done. And if you are in a hurry, you want to get out of here. Before you get out, go and write this number down. That number on the screen. 306-880-5043. Ask for Francis. Okay. He will take you through the rest of the journey. And one by one by one, your business will be on the globe. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Yes. Like, as Pastor, I mean, Dr. Chola have said, like, when you have your business, you put it on Google, and when people are searching for social services, they will be able to, you know, they will be able to get your business link on Google, and also by so doing that, they will call you. you know, some of us are so depressed because we think we can't do it or we don't know how to do it. It's because we don't contact people who will give us the right advice on and carry us along on how to do it. Beloved, you know, it's not difficult. It's so simple. You know, you just have to bring the idea. That you want to put online. Maybe you are an accountant, maybe you are a pharmacist, maybe you are a doctor, maybe you own a care home, maybe you are selling pepper, or maybe you are selling clothes, or I don't know the kind of business you are doing. You know, we can help you to develop a website, a very small business website that will get the attention of your business admirer out there. Because someone, when you say you are doing something, we have 6 billion people in the world. 
you are, we are just one person. When you are saying you are doing business, you are just saying it to yourself. But when you have a website, you have put your business to the world to see. Because what the, what a website does is that it gives your business a boost. We give it a boost. And people can be able to come and say, wow, this is good. This is what you are doing. And from there, you start to close different businesses. People will start giving you, you know, they'll start giving you business. They want you to do this for them. They want you to do that. From there, you increase your sales. And you can generate more revenue for your business. Okay? It's not too difficult. You know, don't be shy. You know, we live in the world of technology. I will tell you, in America, the richest company are technology. When we talk of Google, they are the richest. When we talk of Facebook, they are the richest. When we talk of IBM, when we talk of Apple, they are the richest. So, beloved, if you want to be part of these things, we need to put our businesses on this platform. We have to have our home because it's good to have your business. Don't just rely on social media. Last time, Google, my business shut down. It shut down. They shut down their app. And some of my customers reach out to me and say, Google My Business doesn't have the app anymore. I say, look at you. That is the advantage of having your own website rather than relying on Facebook alone or relying on Google. They shut down the app. Google My Business shut down. They say the app is shut down. So you have to go and post your, I mean, your, your pictures of, of your product that you have. You have to post it on Google Map or post it through your Google web browser. So, but when you have your business, nobody's going to shut your business down. Because you have your business website. It's your own website. All you need to do is that pay for the hosting, pay for the domain registration. You have it already. Nobody can have it. You already claim it. And your business is there running. A lot of people are looking to it. Some people are just so good reading about information online. When they go to Google, they'll be able to tap the services they are looking for. And your business website comes up. They will call you that, oh, they read about this is what you are doing. That, ah, do you have, uh, is, is, are you doing that? Are you, I mean, are you renting social services? And by so doing that, they, they will start to engage with you. And if a good customer uh, representative or a good customer manager, you'll be able to close that business. When they call you on the phone, you'll be able to say, because sometimes the customer wants you to tell them what they want to hear. They want you to educate them more. And by so doing that, when they call you, oh, okay, my name is so and so, and uh, please do this, do that, that, you know, that, that, you know, it, it boosts you. It boosts your, cons your, your you'll be connect, you'll be, you have, you'll be financially free. You know, I want us to, to make use of the power of the internet to be able to, we will now use the power of the internet to convert it to financial, become, will become financially free by having a business and putting your business on that website. Put it on your website, on your domain, on your uh, hosting, and from there, put all the information on how people reach out to you. By so doing that, that gives you more sales and that gives you more money in your pocket. Maybe right now you are doing nine to five job in hand, fix a month. But having your business, your bus of only can only a woman so your deal or lot lack. So when you have a business, you know, you are paving the way for yourself to earn more income by having a website. So I don't know where you are right now. I don't know the kind of business you are doing. You can reach out to me by calling the number on WhatsApp. You can call me anywhere in the world for free. You just need to download the web WhatsApp on your phone. It's 306 5043 and ask for Francis. I want to tell you, I will get, I will give your business website the next available flights. Okay. You know? All right. Let me come in real quick. I can see some people are saying that, okay, it's not very, are you okay? You don't have money uh, to do website. You would rather put the money on the product. You are cut, you are cutting yourself in a shot. You are, you are not, you are not wise at all. You see, let me tell you something. Is it the, ah, my guess is gone. You see, the, uh, the most important part of business is for you to actually have the problem of uh, uh, the problem of demand. When the demand is so high, that's when you know that you're actually in for a good business. When the demand is high. You, you, you don't want to settle and just say, oh, I'm contented with uh, this little stuff they are giving, they're actually seeing, giving me. 
you first of all use the money you have to first of all go and open the channel to you know to business for yourself when you now start having problem of demand when you start having problem of demand when people are demanding and you are not able to now supply then you know you are in for good business but the moment you say hey, let me just use the money i have to just make 20 of this or 20 of that nobody's going to borrow loan you money you see by the time you start getting demand and the demand is so high then you come to someone like me say pastor can you come and invest in my business and i say what kind of business do you do oh i sell uh anywhere i said how many do they order from you like every month and you're like oh pastor I, I you know they order about 20 you know in a day sometimes about 50 in a day sometimes about 2000 in a month so i go, really how much will you need to be able to produce all that say this amount sir how much will it be my own profit okay let's give it a try let's try the first month then i'll give you fifty thousand i'll give you two hundred thousand i say okay let's try it and then after a month you now give me back three hundred thousand let me tell you something i'll invest five thousand five hundred thousand the next time then i'll invest one million the next time and the more money we make the more you grow the more i grow people will never give you money until they see the demand it is a demand that will make someone that to give you loan or to support your business to be an investor you want to invest so somebody come and invest in my business you don't see your demand you're just cutting yourself low a lot of you guys don't even know business you need to learn business sit down and learn business before you jump into business business is risky you must take the risk the more you take a risk the more money you're going to make if you don't take the risk you can't make nothing you can't make nothing you cannot make so for you guys who are saying oh you want money for this you are not trying to grow you just want to be stagnant to grow means that you want the globe to know that you're a business person and you are located on the globe not just in nigeria never say my business is a nigerian business your business is not a nigerian business your business is a world business the moment you have a website anybody can patronize you anywhere in the world the moment you have a website, anybody can patronize you in America, England, Japan, in Canada, anywhere in the world. All right. So you will have the reach to reach out to people all over the place. You can use your social media. And you know, funny thing about the whole stuff is people still ask me, even though they come to my social media, they said, is there any website where we could make, where we could register? Where we could register? I was like, why do I need website for? Make a phone call through and I'll collect your money. And some of them will say, no, sir, I, I need a website. I need a website. So I decided to go and make a website plus an app. Okay. When you look at my app, this is my app here. This is my app. Let me see. Let me let me show you guys. You see? Raw. Raw. Raw talk. That's my app. It's connected to a website. It's connected to a website. So if you want to reach out to me, you go on raw. You see, everything I do is on raw. It's an app connected to a website. You want to pay for you want to pay for my uh, counseling sessions all you need to do is to go to my website to make that payment my website will give you the payment options you can be able to pay you can be able to see the services i render and all kinds of stuff and there it's going to be easy for customers to locate you to reach out to you and to pay you and your website will be connected to your online banking your online banks will be paypal cash app or any other links that we could use to collect money. What if anyone provides social service services? Do they need a? Of course, you need a website. Everybody needs a website. Sir, can I use one website for two, three business? Of course, you can use one website for ten businesses. All you need is just going to have pages. You know, like your website will not be just one page like mine. Your page, your website will be two pages whereby people can click. There's going to be options at the top. They want to go to your fish business, they click it. They want to go to your crab business, they click it. So they see everything, you know, back to back right there. So it's very, very easy for people to locate you and do business with you. You never believe it. You are selling fish in Ajigule. And then you have a website. And people are looking at your fish. Like, what? Well, where can I get this fresh fish? Who oh, is in Ajigule? Can you get sheep? Oh, yeah, we do it once in a month. And then when we ship it, the shipper will ship it to your door. Wow, how much is that going to cost? This, 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 this. Before you get to know it, they use AfriX to send you money in Nigeria. And then you get the money, you prepare the stuff, you ship it, and then they get it. But the issue is this. When you have a website and people are patronizing you, 
don't do your mind out. Because when they are expecting you, when they are expecting you to actually ship it, and you didn't ship it, then there will be a problem. Then there is the place where they call rating. They can rate you there and they say, oh, you're a 419. Oh, you're a scammer. And that will be the end of your business. If somebody should give a rate, and then probably they leave, uh, what they call it, reviews. People always, website will always re request for reviews. Yes. So when they type to reviews that your business is fake, then that will be the end of your website. Yes. All right? And then your website is supposed to be hosted. You have to pay the hosting constantly, maybe yearly, maybe monthly, so that your website will continue to be there. Your website is not going to be free. All right? And then the cost of creating a website is not that expensive. I am not going to tell it to you here. I wanted to make a phone call to Mr. Francis. You guys will sit together and discuss it because websites differ. Your exactly. website will not be the same as mine. The way I want my the functionality will be different. Exactly. If my own is e-commerce, it's different from yours. All right. If I am going to be doing 10 pages, it's different from you doing landing page. If your own is going to be one page, it's one page. I know a lot about websites. You don't understand, man. And I understand the benefit of websites. And your website can be connected to your social media. That whatever is happening on your website will appear on your social media. Whatever you post on your web of your website will appear on your YouTube or your Facebook or your yeah. Instagram. All you need to do is just to lock all of them together one time. Yes. And then you have control over your website because Facebook cannot block you. YouTube can't block you. It's you. You are the one who owns it. So they can block you not to come into their own domain, but people who know you will go to your website and they see what you're posting there every day of your life. So you can even host other people too. Your website could actually be used to make money because people advertise. The more people that come to your website, Google is going to notice it and then they start sending advertisement to you. Exactly. You never believe it. Coca-Cola is sending advertisement all over the place. Fanta, Coke, they're doing it. All right? You know, a lot of different big, big companies are sending advertisement all over. When they see traffic, if your website is gaining traffic, advertisers will come to you, they pay you, to do that, to be able to do that. And that's what they do. When you look at Linda Ikeji, Linda Ikeji is actually having a website and she's posting all kinds of stuff there and all of these banks are paying her to advertise their products right there. And she's making crazy money. I'm talking about millions upon millions upon millions. When you look at all of these people who are doing, oh, I'm a blogger, I'm a blogger. It is website they use for blogging, all right? They, do, they now create a website and then they're gonna have a blog with the website and you guys will now go there from social media to go and listen to all the fake stories they put there. And the more you go there, the more traffic will go there, and the more money they are making. I love to break this down. You see, you might not understand the importance of this thing right now, but you will definitely understand it later down the road if you actually can actually learn about it, and then you know what it means. Some of you are shouting right now, oh, no job, no job. A load of jobs. Jobs all over the place. You can create jobs for yourself. I know a lot of people, they only upload Nigerian movie on their websites. Nigerian movie on their website, and they are making millions and millions and millions of naira every month. Somebody's asking, uh, uh, someone can recommend you through your website. Yes, they can recommend you through your website. How much, sir? I just told you right now. I'm not allowed to tell you on this show because website differs. Make that phone call to 306-880-5043. Ask to talk to Francis. When you get to him, talk to him about what you want to do. Table it before him. I already have an existing website. I want to change it around. Or I don't have a website. I have social media. They can go and get all the information needed on, the, on your social media and they create a website for you. And then they launch it. And you will be a proud owner of a website yourself. Maybe you are a good, maybe you are a small business owner, or you are a big business owner. You are a car lot. You're selling fufu, selling pamu, selling anything. Now let me give you an idea. Do you know a lot of people are making money now just showcasing when they are eating? Some people will just put camera here yeah, and they will be eating. They will be eating, and people, thousands of people are going there to watch it. You know how much money those guys are making? You don't know. Every time you click it and watch it, those guys are making money. They're making big time money. So what is stopping you from actually putting a big bowl of amala in front of yourself with a, a foreign roll on your own side? And then you put the camera and then you just be eating and eating and you put it on your website. And you know the kind of traffic it's going to generate and how much money is going to come to you? You don't understand. And that's apart from your business, apart from what you do, all right? You will still make money on the side. 
How long does it take to create a website? Does it take that long? Yeah. Some website maybe three days, some website one week, some website one month, some website six months. It all depends on what you the functionality. It depends on what you're looking for, and they will break it down to you. How easy is the website to up, update, upgrade? It's very easy. You can decide to make Francis your guy who will update your website for you. Francis could actually give you control to your website. You could do it by yourself. Because sometimes the website, they don't need codes. They just cut and paste, cut and paste, and all kinds of stuff. Depends on the one you want. All right? If you want the coded ones, you will need Francis to be able to help you. All right? If you need the cut and paste, it's easy for you to do that. All right? And then he will let you know the cheapest company to host your website. Exactly. He will let you know how to get free hosting if you have some and all kinds of stuff. He will let you know how to plug it in. How to do all manners of things to upgrade your website and your website will actually be so easy for people to actually check it out on the phone not just there are some people they'll say oh i'm making a website when they finish making website they only make the website to actually be actually uh, uh, compatible with your computer but when you check it on the phone you can't even read nothing so he will be able to put you through when you create the website the website will actually be computer friendly and telephone friendly that anywhere you want to check it out, you will be able to check that website out good. Sometimes you'll see people create website, and then it will be so slow. You click a button like this, you'll be waiting. You'll be whining, whining, whining like this. It's because you created it yourself. You don't know what to do. When Francis will create it for you, you click the button one time, it goes one time. All right? There's a way to that. There's a secret to that stuff. They know it. These people are crazy. They are thieves. These people, these engineers, they are thieves. They know how to put all these things together to make it easy, all right? And that's why I'm telling you today, write that number down, 306-880-5043. As for Francis, if he didn't treat you right, call me, report him to me. I will deal with him, understand? So, but the issue is that based on the relationship, he has been doing website for so many people and they have been satisfied. Let me tell you this. There will be some people that will talk bad about him because there are some people that are bad and they actually bring business and then they want to complicate the issue. They don't want to pay. They want to pay $2 for a website of 20000 All right? And at the end of the day, they will enter into argument with him. Nigerians do that. That's why me, I always want to take my business away from Nigeria. I just want everybody, not just Nigerians alone. All right? So please, write that this telephone number, plus one three zero six. 8805043 ask for francis and then it will treat you right francis what, what do you have to say yeah what i have to say is that as you have listened to dr shola you know there are many many advantages and there are many ways you can make a residual income from having your website don't get depressed you know don't just sit down and say you can't do it you can do it you just need somebody you just need to say every 1000 step begin with a step you need to take a step the first step you need to take is by reaching out to me and i'll put you through you know he was, he was talking about responsive yeah responsive we're going to build you a responsive website even the government of canada hires my company i was building a day i was building a, a platform where they have to upload 10, 10 million data within 10 minutes we build it with azure microsoft azure we know we are website certified professionals. You know, we work with mid to large scale companies. We get calls from everywhere in the world. People call us from Switzerland. They call us from Germany to build website for them. Just tell them what they want. I was talking to a lady. She lives in California. She lives in Los Angeles. And she said she wants to have her own blogging website. I told her, yes, I'm going to make it happen. And I told her what to do. And I want to tell you when we launched the website for she's a, she's a blogging website she was able to have 2000 visitors and i could see how the visitors are coming to our because there is we coded something there that rate that rates the visitors as visitors, visitors are coming that that is rating it and also dr shola made mention of when you have a business you have to be very honest you see honesty is the best relationship you can keep with your customers you can't just have a website and scamming people because people are going to review you. They will talk about you. So always make sure that with the businesses you are doing is real. We are not here to scam people. We are not we are here to, you know, to elevate people's life 
by building their by building a website for their business so that people could be able to find them online and patronize their business that's what we are here for we are not here to do anything we're only using the power of internet the power of the of, you know to generate more income for your business that's what we do so maybe you have a church organization or maybe you have a charity organization or maybe you have a small business maybe it's an online business it could be a shop and you are looking to give your business a boost you know you just have to reach out to me i'm going to make it happen i don't work alone i have 12 people that works for me even if i have something complicated to do i just reach out to one of my boys okay we're having this issue before we know it, before the next 24 hours, it's up and running. You know, we built over 60 websites to hundreds for people across the world. I have customers in Nigeria. I have customers in, in the UK. I have customers in Germany, in Switzerland. They call me because of because they, they've seen my work and they enjoy it and they say, oh, this is what we want. I see that, that I sit them down and, and I talk to them and after that, they just oh, this guy, wow, you are, you are really doing amazing work. So we are here to help you to boost your business through the power of building a website for your business. So reach out to me, call me on this is a WhatsApp number. You just you don't even need to have any, just you know, you just need to download the WhatsApp on your phone and add this number. You can reach out to me any time of the day, you know, although we are just 9 a.m. Uh, in the morning here, you can call me because my phone is always on. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll walk you through on what to do. You know, if you have a logo or you don't have a logo, we can design a logo for you. And also, we also build a website architecture for your business. We, we have to know the kind of business you are doing. And by so doing that, we will now use it to carve the kind of website that align with your business. Okay? So you just have to reach out to me and I will give you your, your, your business website, the next available flights. Yeah, I will get it going. I will eat the ground running, okay? Just have to reach out to me. And I know that your own, your own website issue is not gonna be an exception because you have been doing it, we have experience, we have over 12 years of experience doing this, you know? So just ask, call that number, I ask for Francis. One good thing is that you don't need to pay money to call me. You just have to, you just need internet connection on your phone and by downloading a WhatsApp and you can reach out to me on that number. Okay? I am here to carry you along and make it happen for you. Yeah, I'm here to carry you along. I've been doing it for people. I've built websites right. for churches, for, you know, different, for, for charitable, charity organizations, care homes. I've built websites for care homes. I've built website for small businesses i build website where i have to connect a database where they are taking data from people to be able to know how many customers they have and reaching out engaging their customer with different products as a very complicated one it's not the one we do within few weeks it takes months but by the time we do it we have to connect it with a database where they could have how many customers they are having, you know, where they have their credit card information, where they have their address, you know, what kind of product they are buying. So we, that, you know, software can do a lot of things. The, the way we can do it, you know, the, it, we can build a, a software that meets your business need. We are actually even developing a very big game. We are developing a game now, a game that use, we, we are doing it on Python. It's a very powerful game. You know, we've been doing it for five months. By in the next two months, we are going to launch it. You know, so this is so we can a lot of software programming languages. You know, we have Python, we have HTML, we have JavaScript, we have which is for scripting languages. And Python is is a very very big uh, programming languages that we can use to develop data. You know, like those. I don't know. Maybe some of us are data scientists. You know, we use Python to do a lot of data and games. Uh, HTML is just for iPad test uh, uh, map, markup languages where we use to, you know, to, after uh, this, uh, carving your data or your, 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 your logo, your website architecture, we use the HTML to map it, mark it up to be able to become responsive, like what Dr. Shola just said. We, being responsive means that when I have my mobile, a lot of people use mobile phone. Like most of us that are listening to us right now, you are on your mobile phone, you are watching us live. 
you can see that you can see both of us. So it, when you are having, if you have an iPad, you could be able to see it. Nothing is hidden. That is being responsive. If you are using a desktop, you'll be able to see us, you see your website, the layout. You can also check Google to see the layout. Google will give you accurate. So we are very, 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 uh, we are very, very responsive. So we, we're not going to, you're not going to call us and we don't deliver what you want, but we have to discuss. You know, like he said, prices rain. Somebody ranges, like somebody who has two pages is different from let, somebody. Let me come in real has... quick. Let me come in real quick, a quick and actually respond to Timmy's, Timmy's son, Daniel. Um, I'm going to tell you the story of one black woman. Uh, and she's still here in the state, uh, in the in the US here. Uh, she in Nigeria she was a caterer. She was a caterer in Nigeria. She was making, she was make at that time she made the best money, money at that time. So she created a website, and she was showcasing her money, money how she was mixing money, money and putting egg and putting sardine and all kinds of stuff. And then she was calling it money, money. Let me make J, uh, money, money, let me make J authentic or something like that. And one particular lady came across this website. I'm talking about about maybe about eight, nine, ten years ago. One woman came across this particular website, and that woman, she's based in the U in, in, in London. So she wanted to actually organize a party and she would need moi moi and jollof rice. And that was how they called that woman. They said, Madam, is it for you to come and make my and make my uh for us in London? And uh, the woman was like, London? He said, yeah. He said, we're going to actually bring you in. Whatever you need, just bring them along. And then you come in, make my mind for the party. That was how this woman traveled to London, made my mind for them for the party. And then she was booked by other people during the party. They were booked. And throughout the whole year, she was traveling everywhere. London, Scotland, Ireland, everywhere. Just only doing my mind. And it might sound like a joke to you right now, Daniel, but it's not a joke. You don't know how far your business could go if you put your business on the globe. People don't know you right now. You're struggling right now. You're only selling to people outside. I have another story of one woman who uh, uh, they told her, you know, she, 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 she used to be a nurse. And they told her to start frying akara. And she started frying akara. And then her own akara now got changed. She started packaging it with having a little bag. To give the akara out and gradually gradually the bag started reaching out to where she couldn't get to and people will taste the akara and they say whoa this is a good one and there's a phone number reading on the back you know when they talk about packaging there's a phone number on the back people started making phone call can you deliver akara to us can you deliver he said yeah 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 and that was how she got almost about 17 companies banks so every morning she will fry akara package it with bread and then she'll go and supply the banks all those managers who order Akara from her, she'll take her car, she go and supply the Akara everywhere. 17 banks she was going to. It's not about remember me. See, see the mindset. That is the mindset I want us to clear out. You know, tell me, son, Daniel, that's the mindset I want to clear. It's not about remember me. This is not God. It's got nothing to do with God at all. It's got everything to do with yourself. It's got everything to do with your add that is your packaging your you know your understanding of the business knowing how people think know how to reach people advertise put yourself on the globe one man told me one time he said shola i said sir he said the moment you stop advertising you are actually going to be out of the globe i said what do you mean he said look at coca-cola he said coca-cola even though they are the most 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 uh uh uh, uh patronized company in the world they still advertise. He said, look at McDonald's. He said, McDonald's every corner of the world and they still advertise. I said, so if you stop advertising, you are no more on the globe. He said, yes. Even though people are patronizing you locally, you are no longer on the globe. So you need to continue to advertise. Continue to advertise. Continue to advertise. And that's the beauty of advertisement. When you advertise, you remain on the globe. And people will get to know you. The day one person called me from China, a Chinese man called me from China and he said, Hello, is this Bozo Jola? I said, Yes. He said, Can I talk to you for a little bit? I said, Yes, what's going on? I have a marital problem. I want you to help me out. I said, Chinese, what am I going to tell you? I'm a Nigerian, so you don't need you. And I took this person, 
with his wife, and they listened to me. And I gained the confidence to talk to Chinese people. And before I got to know it, this guy started introducing his friends to me. So I would wake up in the middle of the night to cancel these people. Sometimes I had to wake up around, you know, three o'clock to cancel them in China. And I was making my money and stuff. So, so that's the problem. We refuse to understand how to do business. Advertisement is very important. It's the key. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. And God bless everybody. So in closing, I want you guys to write down that number, 306-880-5043. Write that number down. Call Francis. Talk to him. Give him a chance. Give him a chance to talk to you. If it's not clear, call me up. I would definitely be able to break it down to you, you know, anyhow. Because me, I love to paint pictures. So I want you to understand whatever it is that I'm If they're using all these uh, all these IT technologies and stuff and you don't understand them, just call me. See, the man is just speaking grammar. Don't worry. Call me. Me, I will speak the language you understand and stuff will break it down to you. So that number again is if you're calling from outside of the US, uh, of the US or calling outside of Canada, uh, you know, you can use plus one three zero six eight eight zero five zero four three. You call straight away. All right. You can actually send email, you know, a friend request on Facebook too, or send him a friend request on uh, on Instagram. I just go there and look for Francis. Francis, what are you on Instagram? Francis or, on D O E D G. Francis Oedeji on Facebook. Yeah, I've commented. You see my, I've commented on the, on the, on the, right here. I'm gonna, I've just yeah, commented. So, I'm gonna comment again so that people can see. Yeah. It. So, so that's that's the way it's gonna be. So thank you very much, Francis, for coming on the show with me. I really appreciate you, and I believe next time we invite you, you will definitely be coming. Yes. And. Uh, let us know the feedback as people are calling you. Let us know so we can actually let people know that people are already patronizing and they are getting good results yeah. uh, from you by the grace of God. So thank you very much for coming. God bless you. Thank you for having me, sir. So All right. Yeah, thank you. God bless you too, sir. God bless you too. And guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. I will definitely come back this afternoon. We're going to be talking about relationship. Let me tell you something. Very funny. I just want to let you know. One woman told me, say, ah, Pastor Shola, I must have to use a dildo next to my husband. Koko eto liu. So I am bringing that, I am bringing that to you guys today that there are some men, they need motivation, motivation, motivation. They, they just come to bed and just tired and stuff. This woman said, Pastor Shola, hmm. If I refuse to use dildo, my husband finish no go strong go. I will just be next to him. I'll be doing. <laughs> she will not say. You will not say. You will not say. Okay, mommy. Okay, mommy. You need to go. Oh yeah. Yeah, mama. Oh, go with me. Yes, yes. He goes say hello, Kwara. Hello, go. Is there so many things are happening all over the place that people don't understand? <laughs> I'm bringing it to you today, but it gives a God. Don't stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. I love you guys big time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Goodbye.